Okay, so this right here is my Lamington so my Lamington Gelati, and I've got to say it is incredible. Have a look at that. So it is a coconut gelato with lots of lamingtons, chocolate, and everything stirred through it. And damn, it is good. Just have a look at that. It is just incredible. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn how to make it, keep watching. Okay, so. Lamington gelato. I'm sure I'm getting a few blank looks from people overseas that don't know too many Australian desserts. But this here is a lamington. It's a piece of sponge cake that is covered with chocolate and coconut. And they are awesome. It's an iconic Australian dessert. I'm sure some other countries are probably going to claim it, but I'm claiming it right here, right now. So, I'm going to make up a coconut gelato, and then I'm going to put make up a chocolate swirl to go through it, and then have lots of little chunks of Lamington through it and it should be awesome. So I'm gonna get started. First off, I have coconut cream. This is just pretty much pure coconut that's been ground down to make a cream out of. I have normal cream, eggs, and I'm gonna have sugar here quite soon. So the recipe's gonna be down below, but I will throw it all together and get started on it. It should be a pretty quick and easy one and it should be very tasty at the end. Okay, so this is the easiest sauce in history. I want to have lots of sugar inside of it, so it's about 50% sugar, 50% cream. And to that, I'm going to add, just add some Dutch cocoa powder. It goes quite well in it, and it will give a very, very nice chocolatey sauce with it. I was thinking about adding something different, like uh, chocolate pieces to this mixture, but I wanted to keep it relatively simple. Because the actual lamingtons itself are usually only covered with a little bit of cocoa powder and icing sugar. So I'll put about two tablespoons in there and then go by taste. And yes, I realize it would have been easier to grab a bigger spoon, but I was not that clever. And that is pretty much perfect. So right there, that is my sauce. So I'm gonna let that cool down and I'm gonna put it in a little piping thing and then we can put it over the top of it and it's gonna be good. Okay, so under the next bit, we have the coconut mixture. Okay, so to that mixture, I'm going to add my eggs. So I have about 10 eggs here and this has just reached about 75 degrees. So it's at the perfect temperature for it. And this would just give a nice thickness to the mixture. You want to be able to get it a good flavour and it just brings everything out when you add a few eggs to it. So it won't need very much after that. So with the eggs in, I'll wait for it to get to 75 degrees and then it's there. So I'll take that out and then put it into the sink of nice cold water and that will take all the heat out of the mixture quite quickly and just let it cool down gently. Okay, so here I have my coconut gelato. Well, what's soon to be the coconut gelato. So, like everything else, straight in the machine. And then we just give it a good churn. So have a look at that. That is awesome. It is a coconut gelato. And it is creamy, it is soft, and it just looks awesome. So I'm gonna put one of these in a container and show you guys how I'll do that. And yeah, so I am happy with this. Okay, so here I have my chocolate and my lamingtons. And we pulled all these apart so there's nice and small little chunks that will go all through it. And my little container it's all gonna go into. So, simple and easy. Nice layer across the bottom. And 
there you have it. So that right there, that right there is the Leamington Gelato and it is awesome. I'm very, very excited. Okay guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're gonna try it yourself. I like to put out videos semi-regularly and I try to make sure they're always something awesome. So I've got links there, there, and I'll try and keep on getting them coming. So if you want to see the new videos that come out, make sure that you subscribe down the bottom or a little link that's around there somewhere. And yeah, so thanks for watching and keep tuned for the next one.